Hello, friends. Welcome to another episode of Moments with Mom and Dad. This is a time when Gail and I can share life lessons from our heart to whoever you are, wherever you're listening around the world. We're grateful that you tuned in. One of the things that we do with Moments with Mom and Dad are share life lessons that we've passed on to our natural children, and we have two of them who are grown up and they have their own children. But we are making this video the week before Thanksgiving and made me think about some of the traditions that people have around Thanksgiving and around the holidays, Christmas, New Year's, and how important traditions are to our life. And uh, even though we're going to be having this Thanksgiving uh, with uh, friends, uh, but our, our girls now are making their own traditions with their own families, which is wonderful. Uh, but let's talk a little bit about traditions. And I have so many. Thanksgiving has always been my favorite holiday. And I think it's because of the gathering of family around the table to have a meal and making so many vivid memories of uh, Thanksgiving with them. Yeah, I think one of the things, let me just say to start out with that's important about traditions is I think that it, that the traditions established in your home become part of the legacy that you leave. Because those are the things that the next generation remembers is whether it's baking cookies at Christmas time with mom or um, how and when you decorate the tree. They become part of the legacy that they remember um, as they're bringing up another generation. So I think it's part of our legacy is the traditions that we practice yeah. around the holidays. Well, I think we should be able to think of right off the top of our head traditions that we have uh, in our life. And, you know, we realize that families look a lot different than maybe they did 40, 50 years ago. There's all different kinds of families. There's all different kinds of relationships. So whether you are at home with your spouse or with your children around the table or whatever, I don't think that's as important as the tradition that you're making with people that you love. Mm. You know, one of the things I thought about tradition, and there's, there's several things, positives, uh, that traditions build is, is number one, consistency. They, they speak about uh, stability and security in, uh, in a relationship. You know, people look forward to Thanksgiving meal all year round, some people, or Christmas meal or whatever. They look forward to what they're going to do when they get together. And so that brings a very secure feeling in a very insecure world. Well, yeah. it's, it's, it's a very uh, uh, stable feeling. And I think that that's the impact that traditions have on us. It gives us the stability uh, the consistency of a tradition gives us that security and that stability. And I think of another thing is that um, cultural backgrounds influence our our traditions because um, we're a mixing pot in our nation, and and a lot of people now have family members who have joined into their families that are coming out of maybe. Um, a different part of Europe or a different part of Asia or Africa. And um, it brings a blending into family traditions, um, first of all, because there are some things that are brought into your family that on um, how a, cult, a different culture might celebrate that holiday. But the other part of it, I know growing up for me, there were certain things um, that in they were they spoke to me about the history of my heritage um, in, in what we practice. The Italian part of my family history, there were things around Christmas, things around Thanksgiving um, that were very Italian. And they spoke to me about my heritage. 
Yeah, so you mentioned legacy, which is the future, but traditions connect us to our roots. Yes. Is what you're saying. Yes. Yeah, that's good. I think also about traditions help us to mark times and seasons in our life. You know, we gather around that Thanksgiving table, people look differently. Uh, you might have a new grandchild. You might have a new uh, son-in-law, daughter-in-law, whatever. Or a family member might have passed during that yeah, time. It, yeah, they help us to mark different seasons of our, our life. I kind of think about putting your child up against the wall, you know, and measuring. measuring him and marking it. And you come back and you look at that wall many years later and you, you, see, you can see uh, how much somebody has grown, how much they've changed. And so I like that about traditions as well as the, the memories that we make. Wonderful opportunity for memories. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, um, like growing up, I have a real fondness of the things that we, how we celebrated different things as a family. And it was, it, and it was not just my parents and my sister and I, but an extended family, um, over the holiday seasons and warm memories, very warm memories. I think uh, tradition helps us to affirm, affirm values that we have uh, in our life. Uh, I know growing up in a home where people appreciated music, one of the things that we worked into our holidays with family is we would always go to a show, uh, usually in New York, uh, we'd get tickets to a show. We'd go see a show. Yeah. Always, it was a tradition to go to Lincoln Center on New Year's Eve or, or to walk uh, on Fifth Avenue uh, on Easter, in the Easter Parade. Or So one of the values in our home was, was music, and we worked that in to our tradition yeah. so that when we have our family over, uh, different times of the year, uh, we'll do the same, and we do do the same. Yep. Yeah. Um, from what, what do you what What's a tradition you remember? I think one of my, especially because we're we're looking at the Thanksgiving um, season, being raised in a Italian culture. Um, it was the entire, it would be multiple members of the family coming together around a huge table. And for our culture, you not only had the traditional American Thanksgiving with the turkey and the potatoes and sweet potatoes and stuffing, but before you ate that, you had this huge spread of Italian delicacies, um, different kinds of pastas, antipastas, hot, cold, whether it was lasagna or monogot. Um, there was like a huge spread of Italian food that came out first, and you ate that, and then all the traditional American food came out. And for me, in my memories, it's almost like you never left the kitchen table because after that meal, the dessert would come out, and then they would rest a little bit, um, and then the leftovers would come out, and they'd eat all over again. Yeah, I remember being at one of your Thanksgiving uh, meals with your family, and part of it was the men or the boys going out and playing a game of touch football or whatever they did. Uh, yeah, another very fond memory that I have is when we would take our children from the time they were young into New York City to Rockefeller Center yeah, to see the, the tree. tree. We would do that on Christmas morning. And uh, it, it, I remember one year we went in the middle of a snowstorm, but we still went in and did it. We would do that, and we'd walk and look at the window dressings Yeah, um, in the stores. And, um, yeah, a lot of fond memories of um, going on on Christmas Day. And, and New York was pretty quiet on Christmas Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, absolutely. You know, I grew up in a home where Christ was not the center of things. So... Uh, apart from just maybe a, a, a midnight mass 
or a prayer, one of the few times we'd pray around the table. Uh, Christ wasn't the center, but it's important, of course, in our life that we build our traditions around Christ, around what Jesus has done, who he is. And um, like even, I mean, a really good practice is at Thanksgiving time, because I think, I think um, in some ways, um, one reason why Thanksgiving can be so special is because it's not about the toys and it's not about the gifts. It, it's about, uh, it should be about thankfulness and just sitting around the table before you eat and asking, what are you thankful for? Yeah. Um, what are you thankful for? And you hear people's hearts. Yeah. On on that year or right now, what they're thankful for, and I think that's one thing that makes it's it's it it brings it brings something into that holiday to express why you're thankful. Mm -hmm. That's a great tradition. Yeah. To practice. Yeah. It's never too late to start a tradition, uh, no matter like I said, what your family, what your relationships look like. It's one important way to solidify those relationships and talk about it. Talk about it with your loved ones, could be your, even your neighbors. Uh, talk about what tradition that you can make going forward, something that you could look forward to and something that everybody could commit to, everybody can be a part of. And uh, I guarantee you'll, you'll make some wonderful memories and be able to. Uh, yeah, pass them on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think of um, one thing that your mother actually did that I've picked up for our daughters is your mom every holiday. So it didn't matter if it was Valentine's Day or um uh, St. Patrick's Day, the big holidays that are celebrated every holiday, your mom would always send a card to all of her grandchildren. And she had 17. She would send a card to every one of her grandchildren. And I can remember how much our daughters looked forward to the card that came because kids don't really get mail. And it's a tradition that she established that I have practiced since our grandkids have been young. Every hol every important holiday, um, I send them a card mm. from you and I. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is very gratifying to see our daughters now building traditions with their family. And, uh, you know, so if we're not with them during one of the holidays, maybe they're building it with the, the family of the uh, spouse. Uh, that's really fine. Uh, but we try to at least hold on to uh, a few. Yeah. But, you know, traditions, let me just say, they aren't just around a holiday. They're things that you instill in your family that could be practiced all year round. And uh, it's something you establish as a practice in your family, whether or not it's a family devotional that takes place every day um, before the kids go to school, or whether or not it's family prayer at nighttime before the kids go to bed. Yeah. Um, Communion. Communion practice with your family, or even just this is one that you practiced all the time, and a lot of parents don't. Is I I homeschooled the girls in the daytime. That I had a lot of one on one time with them in the daytime. You practice reading to them at nighttime, and now our daughters read with their kids at nighttime. Yeah, yeah. And they think about books that you read to them. It's very biblical what we're talking about. I mean, the Hebrews had traditions. They had feasts where everybody had to come to Jerusalem, and they extended feasts for a number of days together. So uh, traditions, um, kind of like the movie Fiddler on the Roof mm -hmm. and the song Traditions, very important uh, to God uh, in the kingdom of God and should be in our life as well. So we hope that you will... Uh, keep your traditions, maybe that you've started, or, or introduce some new ones. Introduce some new ones. I think that'll be uh, very healthy and very gratifying to you. Well, we just pray for all of yeah. our partners during this holiday season. 
this Thanksgiving Day and coming up celebrating the birth of Christ and then a, a new year. Lord, we pray that uh, each one of our friends and our partners would enjoy Christ as the center of everything that they do and make wonderful memories with family and friends in Jesus' name. Until we see you again, God bless you richly.